Welcome back. This is a pretty freaking important match for the Intel Extreme Masters Global Qualifiers. This for the World Championship. I should be more uh, accurate about that. But this is really important. The, one of these two players will be the first through the American Qualifiers. There's only two spots available, and this is one of them. So, spawning here in the bottom right corner of the map, we have Jen Air's Red Protoss Trap. Never right as the blue Protoss. It stats. He's got the snowman from Frozen. <laughs> I love it. What is his name? I can't remember off the top of my head. He's a dumb character. I hated him. I didn't like Frozen all that much either. I love Frozen. I just didn't love him. Really oh. He was one of the least annoying side characters that's kind of supposed to be annoying. You know? Like, Jar Jar Binks is the worst annoying side character, but... He was okay. Uh, well, I guess some um, some game knowledge about this one, guys. We are on the Korean server. Every game up to this point, we've been casting on the North American server. But we've come to the Korean server because they're both Korean players. Why the hell not let them play with the best latency possible? Uh, I guess there's the admin decision, and that's totally fine. Uh, but I want to stress, again, you might be wondering, like, what's going on here with the qualifiers? Is the American qualifiers, why are stats and trap playing? Why are these Kespa guys getting involved? That's because there's no region lock on these qualifiers to the american qualifier the european qualifier the korean qualifier it's simply they want the best of the best for the finale of intel extreme masters and i actually really applaud that move again for a finals this makes a lot of sense if you do this every qualifier then uh, people can start reddit posts get mad right but what's really cool about this is the fact that they are allowing all these folks to get through so let's say your favorite player in the world is stats and he falls out here in the semifinals. he can replay the korean qualifiers and if he falls out over there he can replay the european qualifiers and try to get through there's eight slots in total again two for america three for europe and three for korea mm -hmm. did a quick search and these guys have not played each other for a very long time four or five months at least last time was iam season there's iam san jose last year so i'm gonna say uh, <clears throat> and uh, Sats did win. It was so long ago that uh, I'm not really sure what to read from that anymore. I know Trap is one of my favorite PvT players, and that certainly reflects in his stats. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> but his PvP is not bad either, just not as good as stats. Well, that's the thing I do worry about for PvP. Whether it's statistically good or not, this matchup can be really weird, really, uh... Uh, I don't know, build ordery. I really feel there's not a lot of other matchups that are such the case, but uh, one of the things that is interesting is the way that we had stats start with this pylon. Uh, second gateway does go down really early, and typically you don't see a second gateway like this, and Trap, very importantly, did not scout it. Uh, he oh. did see one pylon in base and might think there's a proxy like a Stargate or a proxy like a dark shrine hidden somewhere on the map, because where's that 16 supply pylon at, man? Trap sadly didn't see that it was in base and it's just a second gate. So when I mentioned before we could see this in a three gate aggression, I might not have actually just been taking a shot in the dark. We may have actually got an accidental prediction on this first game. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, no third gateway yet, but it is interesting to see that second gateway hidden. I mean, not too surprising to see two gateways at all. I mean, it's a pretty typical opener, right? But just to actually be hidden it's, and not be scouted is quite a feat. It's not like that, but is the Twilight Council still not going to do Is go for a Nexus before this? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Alright. So not adding on a whole lot of aggression at all, so that wasn't a uh, foretelling Griffin. No, I, well, for this game, it's best <laughs> of five. It's PvP. There's a chance I'll come down at some point. But I, I really like the Oracle for this situation, actually, because Stats doesn't have anything much to defend. He'll have one photon overcharge, which is kind of nice, I guess, but uh, Stalkers don't exactly kill an Oracle very quickly. However, ooh, there's also not a lot to defend here for Trap. <laughs> no, not a lot. Uh, the Emoja Core is coming back, but he might lose a couple of probes before it's ready to go. Or Stats... Ooh. I mean, Sats, he's gonna tangle for a little while, but he's gotta know that the militia core is somewhere around here. Oh, well, that's super awkward. He's gonna tank his own nexus with the sentries. That is super awkward. I, I don't think the Oracle actually killed anything. No, he just put on overcharge, just kills his own nexus. And because he's so focused on the other side of the map, <laughs> he's gonna lose a lot nice. of shields on the nexus. Well, he got two probes for shield on the nexus, so, hey, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. He almost gets a stalker for it, too. That'd be really nice. Start that snowball. But now we have the problem of, of course, the much faster nexus for stats. Now, Trap is going for Blink Stalkers, and I did not notice him slipping a pylon over here, so that is uh, much faster aggression than I thought it would be, and I'm not sure Ooh. stats is quite prepared for this. Not as, not as quickly as it is 
happening. Uh, as you see, how much is in with the stalkers? He actually has a pretty nice stalker count for this. Oh, but that oracle's gonna take apart those sentries. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. But can the stalkers from behind make up enough of the difference? He lost the high ground battle. He's probably gonna lose the low ground battle. Oh, finish off that oracle now. Okay. So he decides uh, not to use the oracle anymore to help out. Uh, it might be able to add, again, that just like little bit that he needs, but maybe not. Maybe it, the ground units themselves oh. will do it. No first run overcharge for the Nashville now. Probes being pulled into it, but oh, the Oracle, as you say, it did its job early picking off this. Yeah, it picked off the sentries and now it cleans up the probes that were trying to go for surround of the stalkers. Oh, GG. It was very abrupt. Hang on, I need to check some. 